All right, so in this video, we have some hydraulic controls that will be controlling a uh, solenoid, a hydraulic solenoid that actually has all of the, the fluid piping and everything done through a 20 volt, 24 volt system, basically going through a push button. So as soon as we turn the push button on, the coil will come on. And when the coil comes on, the coil contact will come on and we will turn the solenoid on. When the solenoid turns on, the cylinder will, will index out. And then when we pull the button back out, or we let go of the button, then the cylinder will retract. And I'll show you this, just like this, right here. You can see that, and it's actually adequate where this is an actual relief right here. So I can pull this back and actually change my relief as far as this goes. I can change that to about, let's just say, enter in like 50. Let's enter in a value of 50. So now, everything's going to bleed back the tank on this pressure relief valve uh, and it's going to keep it at about 50 so that should slow the index down of this actual uh, the cylinder going in indexing out we can actually speed that up and slow that down based upon how much we want to the pressure we want to use and this pressure relief valve will do that like if i take this all the way down to like 20 something like that and then we try it there that should be a lot less pressure so you see the cylinder stroking out. It, it actually takes it a lot longer to, to come out. Now, again, when it comes down to it, what this does is, again, you can see it bleeding back to tank right here. This is a pressure relief valve on the side. This does indicate the bar that it does currently have so that we can change that back to default or we can have more or less pressure, right? So default was about 80 pounds of pressure. We're gonna keep it there. Um, this is a, a pump. Basically, we have a motor with a pump coming up, and this gives the actual, um, you know, the pressure or the flow going through it, the flow uh, per minute, right? So that's actually given that. And then it's coming up to a cylinder, which is just basically on or off, and it will have it retract or go back to tank. So at this point, it, it, the cylinder, uh, solenoid itself is going back to tank. And I actually stopped the simulation to show you how all that's done. Again, uh, these are basic components to the hydraulics. So basically we just use the, uh, uh, the pump right here and we use the double acting solenoid, or our double acting cylinder right here. And then all I'm doing is running this from that. So again, when it comes down to it, it's a 20 volt volt system and you can basically control it as simple as that. So just keep in mind the bottom down here is the tank. So it is flowing back to tank and then it's pulling from tank at the same time. So right now it's making a continuous loop going back because we are not currently doing anything. We have two forms of going back to tank. One being that it is going back from the solenoid that is not active and the other one is the pressure relief. And you see how you can adjust the pressure relief based upon that. Now again, when you change the pump, you can change the pump speed as well. Uh, so when we change that, we can change it. We can affect the system when it goes like that. So when we come over here, over here, all we're doing on this side is changing the electronics of it. So this is the push button. Again, when we push the push button down and we, we hold it down just like that, and then the coil energizes and when the coil energizes, it closes the contact for the coil number one and then turns on the solenoid. Now when we release the button, it actually lets everything bleed back to tank and then the, re the cylinder retracts. So you see the speed of the pump does greatly affect everything too. So if we speed that up, you can see if we get the max speed right here, we can actually come over here and see that that should actually increase the speed going out just like that. See how quick that was. So this is the actual hydraulic solenoid. I figured I'd show you a simple, uh, but uh, yet it kind of gets you involved in, you know, just basically basic controls, hard wiring as far as this goes to show you, you know, uh, basically a push button being used with a coil and the coil coming on, turning on a solenoid, which then in turn has the real effect of a hydraulic system being functional. And again, where we can impact that with the speed of the actual motor, right? And then we can impact that also with the actual uh, bleed back to tank, the pressure relief valve. So there's two forms of actually controlling that, right? There's how fast the pump running and how uh, how much we want to relieve back to tank. 
So this is a live system and again this is a working system and I want to actually give you a, a video showing exactly how this system works. When, so when it comes to hydraulics this should give you some education on basic hydraulics cylinder in and out basically when we, we index out you can see that when you see the flow going in and you see the flow going out it is the directions are correct so you kind of see that we can slow that down so you can see that a little bit better uh, let's slow that down so you can see the flows you see the flow arrows going one direction and the flow is going back to tank when that point you see the flow going one direction and it going back to tank the other direction so you see the way the hydraulics work and you see the exactly the way the very very simple uh, electronics are working so this would be considered a hardwire safety circuit uh, or hardware or circuit where you don't have to worry about any kind of PLC controls it's just a push button and a coil turning on a cylinder which would then stroke a valve out when you push the push button and then or if you held the push button in again you can hold the push button in and this the cylinder would stay out so this is a very simple illustration of it, how that's done. Hopefully that was very helpful. If, if you do find these videos helpful, do uh, please feel free to share these because we are trying to, you know, the more we, we share these things, the better we all get. And again, the goal behind this is to, you know, help everybody in the manufacturing atmosphere get better and uh, increase. So then, and if you have any suggestions too, make sure you leave them below and we'll, we'll see if we can make some videos to help accommodate that. So with all that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.